right, so how are you all doing this morning? Good? Are you all staying out of trouble? Yeah, I don't know, I didn't hear very many answers on that. All right. Well, I have a good friend back here, and I know some of you were here when Jenna was here last year, and she came and talked to us about um, some of the mission work that she does, and she told us about how some of the kids live in the places that she works. And so she's back again, and she was just over in Cambodia, which is way across the ocean, and, and kind of near um, China and places like that, over in Southeast Asia. And so um, she's got some cool stuff to share with you today. And so again, she's gonna talk to you about some of the work that she does, and she's going to tell us how we can can support her um, in the work that she does, okay? So I'm going to turn it over to Jenna, and we'll go from there, okay? Hi, everybody. How are y'all doing? Good. Oh, my gosh, I got such a better answer. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Um, so, yeah, I'm Jenna. I'm a missionary. I've been doing mission work for about four years now. I'm only an official missionary for about a year. So just getting started. I actually am looking at a lot of you, buddy. I'm looking at a lot of you. And I wasn't much older than you when I first kind of had like a little glimmer of wanting to be a missionary when I was younger. And I just remember that I kind of had a, seen a missionary and heard about what they do, and I was kind of thinking, wow, that would be a, that would be a really cool thing to do. And uh, so I asked my dad, what do you think about this? And he said, I don't, I don't think that missionaries make very much money, honey. I don't think that, I don't think that that would be the greatest career path for you. And uh, I really respected and loved my dad, and that's what we're supposed to do, right? Is respect and love our parents. And uh, so I kind of real quick dropped that idea, but then life just happened and high school high school and college happened and as a kid I don't remember feeling like the Lord was super duper super duper duper real to me. I thought that that was kind of a fun thing that we did at church and it was a nice thing that my family and I did and it was just kind of like, okay, this is what we do. And then when I got older though, as I got out of the house and I saw kind of more of the world, the Lord really, really showed me that he was real and that he really loved me and in crazy, crazy ways. We talked about it last year. We won't go too far into that. Um, but, and so ever since then, I've gone to Guatemala and to Italy and to um, Zambia and to Cambodia. So that was about four years ago that I first really, really encountered God, really, really saw that he was real in my life. So now four years later, I never, when I was your age, ever, it was not even a, a thing in my mind that I would ever be able to go, and I didn't really know why I would want to go to all these countries either, but God has just really, really shown me his love in these places, really shown me more about his heart and his plan for me through going and just I want to tell you a little bit about the kids real quick. So the kids are a lot like you guys. They're a lot like you where they like to run around, they love to laugh, and they love to just play and have fun. And I mean you you might not think so across the world, but people are people are not so different. They're not so different from one another, especially as kids. It's like we all just want to be loved and want to have fun. And that these kids are the same way. Um, they, but they didn't grow up knowing that there's a God that loves them. They didn't grow up knowing that this eternal God cared so much about them that he paid the price to have them be his children. So that's one of the greatest blessings about going and just seeing, seeing so many of them just like beautiful Faces like yours and just like knowing that God loves them so much and sharing with them about what about what he's done for them. And they, 
And honestly, the stories that I feel like I learned at the same time that you guys, like around this time of life, like the creation story and the Noah story and things like that, they've never heard that before. And even adults, they think that, like, this is, like, they, they, don't, they don't think about how the world was created. Like, a lot of them, not everybody, but a lot of them don't think of how the world was created. So when you tell them that God created the heaven and the earth, and he created the birds and the trees and the plants, it sounds so Sunday school to us. It sounds so normal, like what we learn in church, but they their eyes get really, really bright, and they're like, wow, God, God did that. There, there, is, a, there is a God that, that does that, that did this, that made this in front of us, and he and he, we tell them that he says, he says, the God that created all of this loves you. And it's it's so big to them. So, and it's just been a, a really, really cool thing to be able to share God's love. And it's so nice and simple. It's like stuff that you guys hear every Sunday that they've never heard before that really, really changes their lives. Really, really changes their perspective on themselves and on the God that loves them. And it really, really changes changes things for them when you go and share what he's done for you. So, yeah. I And so the way that, at least that you guys can support me further, you as kids, is, I mean, there's there was just a post on Facebook this last week that there's no, there's no greater kindness that a person can give me or do for me than pray for me. And... Uh, that's for all of us. We could all, anybody, everybody, use more prayers in our lives. Just to have God work on our behalf and to know that, know deeper his love in ways that we can, like what I have, I give you. I can I can talk to my father and ask him to give, to give you more love and more understanding. But he still fully loves us and he would show you more. And so anything that you guys want to pray for, for Cambodia, for the kids there, and for the people, and for Zambia also. I'm going to Zambia in Africa this year as well. Africa, yeah. Um, who's Africa? <laughs> Africa's a big continent, like, Amer like America. You'll find out. We'll teach you, we'll teach you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, you guys can just keep lifting me up in prayer, and that would be so, so, so helpful. So, so, a huge thing that you guys can do for me is pray for me. So, I thank you guys. Thanks for, thanks for listening, and thanks for being here this morning. Every Sunday, you guys, this is the best thing that you can be doing. I know it doesn't feel like it, but it really is. <laughs> All right, so did we understand what Jenna does? Okay, so can we pray for her this week as she gets ready to go to Africa and go to some other things? But can we also pray for the kids in the other parts of the world that um, she, she and some of her other teammates are going to go and um, speak to and witness to? Because, like she said, there's no greater gift than when someone accepts Jesus into their heart. And you guys have all been pretty lucky because you've had moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas and stuff that have brought you to church and you've grown up with it your whole life. And like she said, you know the story, but there's some kids in the world that have never even heard about Jesus. And so that's why it's so important that people like Jenna listen to God and they go and they share God's message of love to them, okay? So can we pray for that? And will you do it this week for me in your prayer times? All right, well, let's pray. We'll pray for Jenna and the kids, and then we'll pray for you guys, and you can go have a seat, okay? So let's hold our hands and bow our heads. Dear Lord, right now, we just thank you for Jenna and the work that she does, Lord. We also thank you for all of the other missionaries that you have in the world, Lord, that you care so much about every person that you send people from sometimes very distant places to go and share your love with them. And so, Lord, thank you for Jenna and her willingness to go and share your gospel message with your children. Lord, just continue to bless her as she does your work. Lord, we also pray for the kids and families in the lands that she is going to, that their hearts will just be opened up and they'll be ready to receive Jesus into their hearts when she comes. 
Lord, and then as people come in behind her, that they'll just continue to grow and be nurtured in their faith. Lord, right now we pray for these young disciples, and we thank you for the work that you are doing in each one of their lives. And Lord, we just ask that you bless them and keep them this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.